Very good. Let's talk about uh, setting up a clean field. So when doing acupuncture, it's very important that we maintain a clean field, that we maintain our instruments, our acupuncture needles, um, and all the things associated with giving the acupuncture treatment in a clean environment. So the thing to remember here is that clean is the operative word. This is not a sterile needling procedure. It is a clean needling technique that we're trying to maintain. So the first thing to set up is to set up the clean field. And before setting up the clean field, we need to make sure that our hands are clean. So you need to inspect your hands to make sure that your hands are in fact clean, that there is no obvious dirt on your hands. And if that's the case, then cleaning your hands with a hand sanitizer is perfectly acceptable. So hand sanitizer will come in a liquid form, um, but you, it also comes in a convenient moist towelette, um, which is a possibility. If we open these up, we can find uh, towelettes that are moistened with hand sanitizer, and those can be used, or we can just use the liquid, which is what I'll use today. So a few drops of the liquid. And remembering that in hand washing, friction is important, friction as well as the liquid that you're using. So make sure that you wash between your fingers. Make sure that you wash in and around your fingernails. This is very important with soap and water, but also with the hand sanitizer. And you want to keep using friction with your hands until the hand sanitizer has evaporated. The next step is to set up the actual clean field. So we will take a clean paper towel. I'll use a three-fold paper towel here, which while it may seem a bit small, it's perfectly adequate. We only have a few things that actually go on a clean field. So one of the first things that we'll put on a clean field will be some alcohol prep pads. We use alcohol prep pads to prepare the acupuncture points on the skin. A small wipe with an alcohol prep pad is fairly standard. We will talk about that in more detail in other parts of the program. But alcohol prep pads can go on the clean field and um, as well as dry cotton balls, which can go on the clean field. We use alcohol prep pads to prep the point prior to needle insertion. Um, Clean, dry cotton balls are oftentimes used to what we say close the acupuncture point um, in order to prevent any uh, excessive bleeding by pressing on the point if there should happen to be some bleeding. And also, it being a dry cotton ball, it will protect the practitioner from a few drops of blood that might come out of an acupuncture point. Uh, acupuncture needles will also go on the clean field. However, we would not want to set a box on the clean field because the box may very well not be clean. However, um, the needles inside should be assumed to be clean. Um, we can take those needles out and those can be placed onto the clean field. Other things that may go on the clean field would be instruments such as a non-invasive acupuncture point stimulator, uh, perhaps a uh, ear probe, um, or you might want to have need for a pair of forceps. So uh, something like that. These can Anything that's clean can go on this field. However, once it's been used, for instance, if we're going to be needling some acupuncture points and we're going to be using some alcohol prep pads, it's not unusual to set up an alcohol prep pad, for instance, like this on the field so that you can, when, when the time comes, uh, let me just open that a little better, um, you can reach in and grab your prep pad uh, pad and uh, clean the acupuncture point. Um, we can use a small demonstration model here and clean that acupuncture point. And then we would want to dispose of this prep pad um, and the packaging properly in a trash barrel. Um, the same thing goes for an acupuncture needle. When we open up the needle, we have the packaging. And after the packaging, we have the insertion tube and the needle, if we put the needle into the patient, then the insertion tube and the packaging both need to be disposed of, not back onto our clean field, not in a pocket, for instance, because if we touch anything with our hands, like your clothing, your pockets, um, your hands will become contaminated, need to be washed again. So a proper open uh, trash barrel, something that you can step on, um, you know, that you can work without using your hands would be appropriate. Um, the other things that will go in and around a clean field, but not on the clean field, may be, for instance, your hand sanitizer. Um, that would not go on the clean field, but would go 
perhaps next to the clean field. Um, you notice that I'm using this demonstration uh, needling pad. I'm not putting that on the clean field, I'm putting it near the clean field. The same thing will go for a biohazard container. Biohazard containers are going to want to be in the vicinity of your clean field, most likely, because that's where you're working, um, but certainly they don't want to be touching the clean field. We don't want to contaminate this area at all. Once we're finished with the treatment, um, we can take these things off. Things that are clean could go back into the box or into the packaging um, from whence they came. And speaking of that, um, alcohol prep pads, acupuncture needles, and dry cotton balls um, are best taken directly from their original packaging and put onto the clean field. However, if you are transporting these items around and carrying them in their original packaging is inconvenient, um, they can be taken from their original packaging and put into um, clean Ziploc baggies um, and then taken from there and placed onto the clean field. And I think that does it for a clean field. Let's move on.